Recently, Christmas, Black Friday, and Thanksgiving have all become traps to snare people in the global markets. Politicians exploit religious, traditional, and global celebrations for their own profit. On the occasion of the New Year and the Christmas holidays, I am discussing how the world's system administrators ignore Christmas and other celebrations for their own benefit. Perhaps you haven't heard these words anywhere else. Stay with me until the end of this video, as it's ultimately up to you to decide whether celebrating Christmas in the modern way today is a good thing or not. 100 years ago, Christmas holidays were celebrated with a mix of traditional customs and simpler festives. Christmas trees were commonly decorated with handmade ornaments such as popcorn strings, paper chains, and candles. Families would gather to decorate the tree together, creating a sense of togetherness and anticipation for the holiday. Gift giving was a cherished tradition, but the presents were often simpler and more modest compared to today. Common gifts include handmade crafts, small toys, books, and practical items like clothing or household goods. Religious ceremonies and attending church played a central role in Christmas celebrations. Families would gather for a special Christmas Eve service, singing carols and listening to sermons that emphasize the religious meaning of Christmas. In recent years, it seems that people are slowly forgetting why they celebrate Christmas. In the old days, there was confusion between Christmas and the celebrating of corruption where instead of religious and joyous acts, people become engrossed in sin. This even led to a ban on Christmas for several centuries. In my previous videos, I briefly explained the interesting history of Christmas, and I will definitely provide the link in the description. Over the years, the Christmas holidays has transformed into a consumer celebration. People no longer go to church, they flock to shopping malls. These malls have become much larger than churches, offering everything one needs inside. Consequently, people spend all their money there, turning it into a commercialized event. In the United States, even the Thanksgiving holiday Day has become more focused on consumption, especially during times of economic recession. In 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt moved Thanksgiving one week earlier to boost retail sales during the Great Depression. This decision sparked significant upheaval and protests, leading some to mockingly refer to it as Thanksgiving. Eventually, in 1941, Congress settled on fixing Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday November. Christmas is not only a religious religious and cultural holiday, but also significant consumer celebration. It is a time of year when people engage in increased buying and spending, making it a crucial period for businesses and retailers. A consumer celebration refers to events and occasions where the consumption of goods and services increases, and individuals engage in higher levels of buying and spending. These celebrations typically take place during holidays and special occasions such as eat, seasonal sales, festivals, special shopping events, and more. The main purpose of consumer celebrations is to stimulate customers to make purchases, create incentives for saving money, and take advantage of discount and special offers. During the Christmas season, there is a surge in consumer activity as individuals shop for gifts, decorations, food, and other items associated with the holiday. The spirit of giving and desire to make loved ones will special drive people to participate in the consumer aspect of Christmas. Retailers and businesses capitalize on this festive season by offering special promotions, discounts, and sales to attract customers. Many stores decorated their premises with christmas themes displays, creating a festive atmosphere to entice shoppers. Online retailers also take advantage of the increased demand by promoting holiday sales and offering convenient shopping options. In recent years, other countries have also followed suit, adopting events like Black Friday as an excuse for stores to sell more and better. Now, Christmas has turned into opportunity for centuries around the world, such as India, China, Turkey, UAE, and many others to choose a date on the calendar for people to go shopping. These countries act as a receiving destinations purely for the sake of selling goods during this consumption-driving holiday. Just take a look at the advertisements that companies create around Santa Claus.
While the consumer aspect of Christmas has received criticism for its commercialization, it is essential to recognize that it also plays a significant role in stimulating the economy and providing employment opportunities, particularly in retail and hospitality sectors. Consumer celebrations can prompt us to reflect on the effects of consumerism and its impact on the environment and society. It encourages us to make conscious choices, seek sustainable alternatives, and consider the long-term consequences of our consumption patterns. What do we get from this video? First of all, we have become more open about the state of celebrations in the last hundred years, and why even countries that are not Christians go celebrate traditions that did not exist in their history. The real value of this celebration is mixed with the consumption of customers, and the way it should and maybe they are not paid attention to, and the goal has changed to help the country's economy. What do you think? Are celebration good consumption or not? Was Christmas colorful this year? Did you feel the consumption of the products or not? Bye!